Hello there everybody, it is Mifizer Bunny and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed building video. Today we are speed building a starter restaurant for your guys' Sims who want to kind of start their own restaurant. Of course, uh, the Sims 4 Dine Out was just released a couple of days ago and I feel like a lot of you guys will benefit from this building because I know that a lot of you guys have households that are starting out uh with their restaurants and stuff so this was a really fun and quick build for me uh, and if i were you guys i would take the name starter very very loosely because despite being called a starter this thing costs almost thirty thousand simoleons okay so it might not exactly be a starter in a sense that it costs under twenty thousand, but it is affordable though so i guess it kind of makes sense um so i think this thing costs less than twenty seven thousand simoleons last i checked it's about twenty six thousand, and i think it's it's a good price for a decent restaurant i did play test it and it place really really well um you can sit a lot of sims in it and i feel like it's a great investment if you want to start your own restaurant business uh, so it's really small um there is a kitchen and there's a bathroom and there is a lot of space for restaurant tables as well and all that good stuff i decided to go for something that was cozy and kind of quaint as well because i do plan to use this house in my let's play for um the sims 4 dine out i'm gonna be doing a mini series so if you guys want to see more of this restaurant um it will be featured in that mini series as well okay so yeah honestly you guys it took me not that long to build this but it is definitely one of my favorite builds. It is very effortless and um, I feel like, you know, this is one of the few builds that I did where I only did it for one sitting and that is really, really rare for me. So I don't know, I was able to do it all in one go. So in that sense, I'm kind of proud of myself for just going with it. Plus, I really wanted to get this up as soon as I can for you guys. I had a lot of problems actually buying the Sim 4 Dine Out. Um, you know, I might as well tell you guys it now. Unfortunately, Origin decides to glitch on June 7th. Not only could I not buy The Sims 4 Dine Out, I could not buy anything, like any game in Origin. I could not buy anything. I tried with different accounts as well. I tried with my MasterCard and my PayPal, and it wasn't working. I was so disappointed because I wanted to do like an overview video the moment this game pack came out yeah so nothing was working the good thing is i did go to ea in their um help desk and they were really really helpful and uh for they they still didn't solve the situation for me though i had to wait a couple of days until i had the ability to download the sims 4 dine out so i was really really disappointed and i was itching to build my first restaurant so here it is um as you guys can see it has a really really nice front to it there is like that corner where it has like a dome type of area and i really really like that touch um i feel like it adds a lot of personality to the restaurant the back of it is pretty basic but i think that's okay because at this point i was trying to save as much money as I can. There's going to be a lot of wood and the predominant color scheme that we have here is yellow. I love the yellow option that comes with the base game actually. it's um, I'm not sure what type of wall it is but it comes with this very very beautiful kind of banana yellow color which I really like and just to mix things up a little bit I, I threw in a couple of brick accents as well. Um, Okay, also, I keep forgetting to say these in all of my videos, but yes, this house or this restaurant is available for download on Origin. My username is Amitaliri. Uh, it is called, uh, this particular build is called, um, Starter Restaurant, hashtag Starter Restaurant, or just to make it easier for you guys, just go ahead and search hashtag XFreezerBunnyX. You will find many of my creations have that hashtag so that's the easiest way to find me because uh, a lot of people actually ask me how to find my stuff so also if you're wondering how to you know what i'm going to answer this even though it's totally unrelated to this video if you want to find the school um the newcrest elementary and newcrest high school please make sure that you have ticked your custom content box because those 
are considered custom content because they were built using a mod. Anyway, just make sure that you filter custom content on while you are searching on the gallery so that everything will show up. Okay. Anyway, so we are just fiddling with, um, the layout of the inside that uh brick texture that i used as accents actually came with um dine out so it's a really really beautiful brick texture and i really like the distressed look of it i'm actually so excited to play dine out as a let's play mini series because i just want to see all the new features and all that good stuff i'm so excited to have my sim own a restaurant and you know, kind of discover all the new features with you guys as well. So, um, in the end, I kept three of these tables. I delete the one in the middle because I felt like it was kind of really weird. Like, you guys will see me spend so much time figuring out where to place that. So, instead of placing a table in the middle, uh, I will actually place, like, a wall there instead to kind of give more privacy to the space. I noticed that this type of restaurant, it looks very um romantic or classic looking uh so i felt like the diners here would kind of appreciate having some privacy while they're eating so i threw in a nice little wall divider in the middle which is not this one by the way uh interesting thing to note though dine out came with some really really awesome uh what are those called half wall trims which i also really appreciate as well also you guys this lot is ready to be occupied as a restaurant so uh, it has all the requirements i believe the requirements are a chef station waiter station and host station a couple of seating and a toilet and a sink oops i i smashed my <laughs> i accidentally smashed my um keyboard but whatever uh so yeah i spent so much time figuring out what to put here in the middle because i really didn't like the look of having a table there because i felt like it would look too too much like i don't know i didn't like it but whatever i will throw in a nice little wall there to divide the space and i really really like the fact that i added it up there i was thinking of making some or like I was thinking of throwing in some decorative wall art as well, but those are actually so expensive that I decided against it because I felt like it would make this even more expensive. So yeah, uh, let's see here. But I really, really like how it turned out. Actually, it turned out really nice. There's lots of space for the Sims and the atmosphere is really awesome. I especially like the yellow color scheme. I really, really like how the effect of it is really nice. And I think the last room that we're going to decorate is actually the bathroom. There's one bathroom and I don't think you need more than one bathroom because I don't know, just for this starter type of restaurant i think that is quite enough um so yeah lots of nice wood accents and uh, also you know what i haven't talked about this yet but the lighting for the game that came with the most recent patch is amazing like the way the light um enters through the window is just so awesome like i love it uh i cannot wait to show you guys the walkthrough video at the end of the speed builds part because it's really really awesome decided to throw that nice little sign in the front i believe that came with get to work and i that's really nice so yeah also throwing in some awnings as well. These came with get to work. Uh, I originally wanted to make these red. Then I was thinking of making them black. But I feel like the blue kind of looks really nice <laughs> with the existing color scheme that we have. And then the landscaping, I try to keep it really simple. But at the same time, I didn't want it to look like it was completely empty. So um, despite working on a budget, I'm actually really, really proud of... Um, how I was able to landscape this. I was, I was really happy with it. And yeah. So yeah, there is a layer of, what is this? Uh, ground texture. 
And then we will outline it with some rocks to kind of make it look like, I don't know, I, I really like doing that, you know, outlining the ground texture with like our rocks and stuff. I, I, I really like the look of it. Um, so, so far though, with like the couple of hours that I played with Dine Out by myself, I am obsessed with it. Like, I am so happy with it so far. All the weight and all the frustration with not being able to furn- purchase it, um, on the day of the release was so worth it because I'm so happy with it. Like, lots of new items and, uh, you know, lots of new interactions as well. Plus, playing on a restaurant. Um, as a customer, it's actually very seamless. Like it doesn't lag or it's probably just my system. But for me, it went by really, really smooth, which is another thing that I'm so happy about. So I decided to throw in an extra plant just to give a little bit of variety. I had a lot of trouble deciding what it was, but eventually I settled on lavender, but not before I tested literally every plant option. And then I came across the lavender and I felt like it was really nice. So there we go. Uh, I felt like it was a great complement to the color scheme as well. I feel like the purple really brings out the orange and the yellows and those flowers as well. So yeah. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below um, how you guys love The Sims for Dine Out. Uh, you know, you, you might hate it. That's up to you, but I really like it so far though. Um, a complete overview of this game pack will be towards the end of my mini series so that I can actually experience the whole thing. Um, and you know what? I, you, I was able to use these, um, vines or these ivy that came with, uh, what are those? These ivy that came with get to get together, I was able to put them to good use and they look really, really awesome. So I'm so happy with how it looks. Um, so yeah, I think we're pretty much just about done. I don't think we're going to be adding anything else to this. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I won't place any lights because it would make this thing a lot more expensive. But anyway, um, yeah. Okay, last thing that we're going to add are these nice little flowers on each table just to bring a little bit of life to it as well. So it looks like that is going to be it for the speed build part of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and cut into the floor plants. You guys can see that there's only one floor, which is going to be easier to manage as a restaurant. I think it's more fun to work with ground floors because you can literally see everything happen all at once. Uh, so yeah. I guess that's going to be it for this quick little speed build of the Sims 4 Dine Out Starter Restaurant. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun building this and I can't wait to make a lot more builds and restaurants and also share my impressions with you guys as I do my Let's Play mini series on the Sims 4 Dine Out. So like I said, that is going to be it for my commentary for this video. Once again, please don't forget to hit that like, favorite, and subscribe button if you guys had fun watching this video because it really does help out the channel a lot, okay? You all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.